Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of March 10th, 2021. Well, today, the House of Representatives have, has voted and passed the stimulus package, known as the American Relief Package, which is President Biden's baby, basically. Now it goes to President Biden's desk for him to sign off on. And basically, this basically means that we'll be getting our $1,400 stimulus checks as well as other benefits. Donald Trump continues to wage war against the other Republicans that basically voted to get him impeached. The Republicans are saying that Biden's soft stance on immigration, uh, on immigration policy is creating a crisis at the southern border. And from what I understand, when Trump was in office, they had like nine kids in detention. And now with Biden, it's 1,400. I'm not sure if these numbers are accurate or not. The Democrats will be voting on a bill imposing federal uh, standards on the voting process. The Republicans are saying that the voting rules should be left up to the states and not the federal government, which I agree with. The Republicans are also saying that Congress needs to learn to budget their balance. And they went on to say that we're going to pass down the next gen- to the next generation, generation a lot of debt. And that we are going to suffer the consequences with inflation or through inflation, one of the two. The country is seeing a big improvement on the COVID 19 cases as far as infections, hospitalizations, and fatalities. In this new stimulus bill, there is basically major changes to it. Less people will be receiving the $1,400 stimulus checks. And basically how it breaks down is if you make $80,000 a year or, or more and you're a single filer, you will be, be disqualified. If you make $160,000 or more as a joint filer, filer, you will also be disqualified. So if you make over $80,000 or $160,000, you will not get a stimulus check at all. And <clears throat> of course, we do know that the $15 minimum wage is no longer in the relief bill, as you, as you found out from some earlier episodes. The unemployment benefits are going to be $300 a week instead of $400, but the benefits will be extended to September, and the first $10,200 of your unemployment benefits are tax-free. And as far as the child tax credit, the payments are going to be periodic instead of monthly. The um, Basically, the final tally on the vote today to pass the bill was 220 to 211 in favor of passing it. And from what Press Secretary Jen Psaki says that President Biden will sign off on the bill on Friday afternoon and I'm keeping my ears open to basically the timing of the release of the stimulus checks for the people. Sorry, this is a quick and a short one. As you see, I'm still in my work clothing. I had to hurry home and get you guys an update because it's very important that I do. I thought you'd need to know. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And please leave in my comments bar if what you're planning to do with your fourteen hundred dollars. Well, you could pay some bills, you know, take care of yourself a little bit more. Let me know what you can do. I have no problem with that, and I'll I should reply to all your comments. And if you guys like my content and my video, please hit that like and subscribe button and let me know. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy. Gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stop.